The science of reappearance is an interesting discussion. And with respect to Imam of our time, and the discussion can be found under many Quranic verses which has been compiled in the book, The Qayyim in the Quran. So it's a beautiful book. These signs motivate us and serve as reminders about the suddenness of his reappearance. However, a word of caution that we are awaiting the Imam of our time and not the signs surrounding the reappearance. So it's a very, very sensitive topic that we need to understand throughout that we are waiting for the Imam of our time and not the signs surrounding the Imam's reappearance. And with a few words of Ashar, I would like to continue. Aye Imam Zamana Aisi Shan se. Aye Imam Zamana Aisi Shan se. Bate Zami Karegi Asman se. Or Mola Tere Zahur ki kab aegi khabar ye intazar kam to nahi imtehan se. Or Divare Kaba Pirse Hasegi ye dekna. Divare Kaba. फिर से हंसेगी ये देखना आएगे आखरी अली पहले की शान से मोहम्मद व आले मोहम्मद सलवात अल्लाह and with this I would like to introduce our next speaker brother Ali Abbas Patel Ali Abbas Patel has been working in the banking financial services and with insurance sector for the last 22 years with expertise in digital marketing and corporate communication, he has worked with one of the largest asset management company. Presently, he is the vice president marketing for India's leading asset management company, which is promoted by one of the largest public sector banks in India and Asia. He has a post graduation in marketing and has added the expertise of designing and programming courses to his academic record. He is an avid reader with interest in Islamic studies and history. He is a proactive volunteer for many social causes and projects in our community. And with now, I would like to recite a loud salwa together and call Brother Ali Abbas Patel to enlighten us with his lecture on the 12 Talks program. And his topic is what are the signs of reappearance of Imam Mahdi and their significance? But Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad Salawat. Allah. <laughs> Before I start my conversation on the topic that has been introduced, I would like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Imam of the time for the opportunity and the strength to be here. It is indeed an honor to be part of this program. The topic that was being introduced is the sign of reappearance and its importance. As we all are aware that man is a very curious animal. It wants to know what is beholds its future. Usse chahiye ke baar pata chale ki uske liye aage kya hai. And for that information and for that data, man goes to extreme strengths to get data, but that data does not help him or that information does not help him. As there is a saying in English, it says that curiosity kills the cat. As much as man tries to gather information, the more he gets devastated, or his time gets wasted. But there is one event, there is one occasion which is the Vada of Allah, that is the Zuhur of Imam Zaman alayhi salam, which is definitely going to happen. That is the incident which will change the course of the world, and of course, it will change how mankind will live his life further. With the coming of Imam Zaman alayhi salam, it will not only fill the earth with justice and peace and it will also make the place to live worth it. But the question arises 
that as we are curious to know what are those signs that will appear before the coming of Imam Zaman Islam. If you look at many traditions or we look at sayings that have been given to us by past prophets, especially by our last prophet of Allah, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his true successors, they have given us many signs which will come before the reappearance of Imam. Those signs broadly can be classified into two things. One which are common signs and one signs which can be called as special signs. If you look at traditions that have been recorded in the book, common signs specially talk about the social thing or the social environment which will be there during, especially during Islam. That what will be the society during the reappearance of Imam Zaman al-Islam. It is found that when the reappearance of Imam will happen, the society will see corruption, the society will see deceit, the society will see that the students are not listening to the teachers, the ulamas are not being respected. It will be found that khums and zakat will not be paid. These are some of the common signs that Imams have shown us before the reappearance of Imam. But let us look at those special signs that Imam has mentioned. In the book of Biharul Anwar, volume 52, Imam Jafar Sadiq Salam mentions in a tradition that there will be five signs before the Zuhur of Imam. One will be the coming of a Yemeni man. Second will be the rising of the Sufiani army. Third will be the hearing of the mysterious voice across the earth. Fourth will be the killing of the pious man between Safa and Marwa. And fifth will be the sinking of the army of Sufyan between Makkah and Medina. These are some of the special incidents that Imam have mentioned to us. But there comes another question with this information. That are these signs changeable or are these definite? Is that the zuhur of Imam will happen after these signs or will the zuhur happen anytime? Let us look at the book of guidance. It is the Holy Quran which has the answer for it. And the answer is in Surah Yunus. The incident that is mentioned in Surah Yunus is of Hazrat Yunus salam, that he was disgusted, he was very sad by the actions of his people. And Allah informed Hazrat Yunus salam, that there will be azab on the people. Hazrat Yunus went away from the nation and he went far away. When the people realized that the azab of Allah was coming upon them, they started praying. And they prayed together to Allah. And Allah being Rahim and Kareem accepted their dua and the azab of Allah was cancelled. It was taken away from them. Hazrat Yunus salam, after some days decided to come and see the condition of the people. When he reached there, he was surprised, he was shocked that what was informed to him had not happened. Then Allah informed Hazrat Yunus that because the people did istighfar, the azab was taken away from them. This incident very clearly shows that Allah is in control of everything and there is nothing that Allah cannot change when it has been given. It is in complete control. But Hazrat Yunus was informed about the azab of Allah, not about the change. This knowledge was completely with Allah that what is going to happen. Now come to the next question that comes that if these signs can change, then what is the reappearance of Imam Zaman Alaihissalam? The answer again comes with traditions. And there is a saying of Imam Zaman Alaihissalam which he guides the people in the time of Gaibat, where he says, Pray for me as much as you can pray because it is the best for you and it will be beneficial for you. This dua or this guidance of Imam which he is giving us very clearly makes it for us that as much as we reciprocate or we pray for the zuhur of Imam Zaman Islam, the zuhur can hasten. It can so happen that if we all as an ijma, as an society come together and pray to Allah for our istighfar, for our pardons of the action, Allah can forgive us and the zuhur of Imam Zaman Islam can happen today itself. This all depends upon how we reciprocate to Imam and to Allah himself. There is another tradition from Imam Sadiq which very clearly shows that 
Allah can hasten the reappearance. And it is the incident of Bani Israel. That when Bani Israel was tired with what Pharaoh was doing to them, and they were tired with the azab of Allah, they all again collected and they prayed to Allah. In some riwayat it is found that they prayed for 40 days. And some riwayat it is found they prayed for 14 days. But they all came together and they sincerely prayed to Allah that Allah please forgive our sin and give us salvation from Pharaoh. It was at this that again Allah has shown his rahmat and his mercy that Allah accepted the dua of Bani Israel and commanded Hazrat Musa and Janab Harun that go and save the people from Pharaoh. In the riwayats it is also found that what was destined for 400 years was bought early by 170 years. This incident again very clearly shows us that if we sincerely go back to Allah and if we sincerely go and ask forgiveness and we as a society gather at the cause of the reappearance then inshallah Allah will accept our duas and the reappearance of Imam will be hastened. Otherwise whatever Allah has destined in his qadr that inshallah will happen. But it is for us to decide whether we want Imam to come early and to save us from this hardship. Now coming to our last question that if the signs have been given then what are its benefits? It's a very like brother Rahil introduced in the, in the start that these signs for us is a motivation, is a warning sign. A good student does not wait for the date of exam to be announced. He is always prepared whether the exam is today or tomorrow. He will always prepare himself. The zuhur of Imam can happen anytime. We as good Shias at good moment have to be prepared for the zuhur of Imam. But these signs when they happen, they give us strength, they give us motivation that the zuhur of Imam is happening. But for us, it is not the importance of the sign, it is the, the coming of Imam Zaman Islam for Ali. I will end my discussion with the very simple line that we all pray every day that is Allahumma ajjil li waliyek al faraj Allahumma ajjil li waliyek al faraj Allahumma ajjil li waliyek al faraj Ariza is li khake shifa se li kha hai zarur ho gi nayat imam akhir ki